Hey y'all, and welcome to the Sprinkle Factory YouTube channel where we cover everything culinary. This is Chef Sprinkle and I'm back with another delicious recipe. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and join our Sprinkle Squad. Now today's squad, I'm only going to be using... Um, the Just a Sprinkle All-Purpose Seasoning out of my seasoning collection. But we're going to be making a very easy, restaurant-quality butter chicken, y'all. Let's get right into it. Now, the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to marinate our chicken. We're going to start with some um, whole milk yogurt, plain yogurt, of course, no flavor, y'all. We're going to put about a half a cup into our chicken. Now, working with about three pounds of chicken breast, I kind of sliced them into little strips. Um, if you like, if you prefer, you can just cut them into cubes. That part is totally up to you. Now, we are also going to add some garlic. You guys are going to see me revisit the garlic quite a few times in this recipe, but it is totally necessary to make this super super delicious after we go in with about two tablespoons of garlic i'm going to follow up with some ginger paste the ginger paste is going to give it a really deep um, flavor and richness right along with the garlic they literally go hand in hand with this dish now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come behind that with some just a sprinkle, all-purpose seasoning. Literally, you can use this in any dish, in anything you're cooking, um, even Indian food. So, we're going to go ahead and hit that with about two teaspoons of the just a sprinkle. And, of course, if you are not sure where to find my just a sprinkle seasonings, just click the link in the description. It is there for you. It's going to take you right to the website. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to work with the ground masala. We're going to work with the turmeric powder. Um, um, and then we're going to do some cumin and chili powder, you guys. Season this bad boy up and we are going to let it marinate. Now, once we get everything marinated, y'all, or mixed up, excuse me, let it marinate for an hour minimum. You can totally do this overnight. The longer that you marinate it, the more time the acid from the yogurt has to break down the molecules of the chicken, and that's what causes the chicken to be so super tender. Totally up to you. Now, as you guys can see, I am making some basmati rice and some chicken broth. I just put a couple bay leaves and a few dried cilantro flakes just to give the rice a little extra flavor. Super simple. Set that to the side. Now let's start our butter chicken. We're going to work with some ghee. Ghee is clarified butter, you guys, when you melt your butter down and you remove the milk solids and the dairy solids so that this way it has a higher smoke point. Super, super, super delicious. Trust me. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put our chicken into a hot pan with our two tablespoons of ghee that has been melted down. Um, because we have about, like I said earlier, three pounds of chicken, you want to make sure that you cook this in about three batches um, so this way you don't overcrowd the pan. And you get a nice sear and develop some nice color on each of the pieces of chicken, you guys. So again, just work with this. Let it rock. Go ahead and um, brown it all up. Like I said, a couple batches and you should be good to go. Just like that, y'all. Super simple. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to add some more ghee, about two tablespoons, one to two tablespoons more of ghee to our pan. Um, do not clean out the pan. All those beautiful brown bits at the bottom is totally flavor. We don't want to lose that. So what I have here is a sliced yellow onion, a medium onion. And what we're going to do is we are going to saute this until it's translucent. So about five to six me minutes on medium heat and you should be good to go. But as we're building layers of flavor, make sure that you season this layer as well we're going to hit it with some just a sprinkle all-purpose seasoning of course and we're going to let this rock we're going to go ahead and cook this down so it's nice and brown and the onions are nice and translucent now at the bottom of the pan 
Okay, that is called fawn. That's a technical term. But literally, it's just the flavor bits that the chicken dropped off in the pan. We are just going to scrape those up. And that is actually going to become a part of our sauce. So at this point, once your onions have softened up a bit, go ahead and add in your garlic and your um, ginger. And of course, the measurements are at the bottom of the screen, you guys. And then we're going to add in our spices. So our turmeric, some coriander powder, and the gram masala. Now, once we go ahead and add that to the onions, we are going to go ahead and toast these spices up. So this is just going to release the oils of the spices, concentrating them, making them taste that much better. Um, and then after that, you guys, we're going to go ahead and come in with our tomatoes, a little bit more spice with the chili powder, and we're going to let this cook and reduce down. All right, so after about five to six minutes, y'all, as you can see, the tomatoes completely melted into the sauce. The onions are nice and tender. And we are literally almost done, y'all. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out, remove it, put it into a food processor or a blender, whichever one you're working with, um, and we're gonna blend it up into a nice, smooth paste. The next thing that we're gonna do is add our chicken back in the pan. On top of that, we're gonna pour our sauce, and then to make it really smooth and really rich and really creamy, we're going to add some heavy cream. Now at this step, you guys, you can strain your sauce. It is totally up to you. It doesn't bother me. I don't want to lose a bit of my flavor or tomatoes or onions or ingredients. So I choose not to strain it. Um, but again, that's totally up to you. So we're going to give this a nice mix. We're going to incorporate everything, introduce everyone to everyone in the party. And then we're going to go ahead and add in our heavy cream, y'all. Once all of our cream is incorporated, we are going to add in a tablespoon of cold butter just to shine up our sauce and make it even that much more velvety, you guys. This is totally restaurant quality butter chicken. Trust me, try it. I promise you from here on out, this will be your go to recipe. Going to be a new family fave, a new dinner option, you guys, to use those chicken breasts and all of the above. Now, of course, for Indian food, you can serve this family style. So if you just kind of want to garnish the pan, serve it with the rice at the table, what have you. Uh, totally, totally, totally an amazing idea. Or you can actually individually plate it up like I did here. It took me a long time to post this video because honestly, you guys, I have been eating on the leftovers for like two days. Not gonna lie to you, you're gonna keep it real. And of course, in true Sprinkle Factory fashion, let us slow it down <laughs> with a slow mo. Like that, y'all. Super simple. I love y'all so, 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 so much. Just a recommendation make sure you serve this with butter naan or garlic naan. Trust me, you need it. Um, as my grandma would always say, y'all, this is finger licking time. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, share with all of your family and friends. I appreciate and love you so, 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 so much. I can't wait to see your creations. Make sure you DM me, email me, send them to me, you guys. I would love to see them. As always, I'll see y'all next time.